Hello YouTube, my name is SmileyMan01 and today we are playing AD Carry Jinx. It has been such, such a freaking long time since I last uploaded a video. Uh, I really want to upload one, so I'll probably just upload this one. Uh. Maybe I can break like my... What is it like? Five games lost streak now. Ugh. Hopefully I can. Like, I <laughs> should stop losing games. Ugh. I didn't really mind losing all of them except one of them. Because I did pretty good in the other four. Well, one of the others I kind of sucked in, so I sucked to lose. But the other ones I did fine in. That was a really quirky one I actually did pretty awesome in. So that was a nice game to have. Oh, Pantheon. Why? Uh, Riven players tend to be like really good or they're really bad. Like, there's no much. There, there's no such thing as a good, there's like a mediocre Riven, like, they're all really good, oh, man. Oh, please ward, there we go. Oh, it survives. Mm. That would be really funny if this game... Pantheon completely crushes this river and gets like really fed and carries them. I mean that'd be annoying, but that'd be funny in an ironic sort of sense. Be careful of what? They don't have any CC. They have a morgue binding, and that's it, unless Pantheon started with a stun. Which I'm pretty sure he didn't. Ugh. Yeah, but like there's a lot of champs like Riven. Pretty much any high risk, high reward champion. You're either gonna do awesome. Oh wait, what the heck? Huh? <laughs> I, I'm going to lane. See ya. Eh, that wouldn't be the best idea to go to lane, but okay. <sighs> Can we take a moment for like, what in the world is going on? I'm just gonna farm. And I'll just let all of that, whatever's going on, just happen. Hey, Ash. Hey, Morg. What's up, guys? Good to see you. Ugh, Ash is one of those champs that's kind of annoying just because no one ever really picks her, so you don't really know how to play against her. Kind of an oddball pick. She's not like that bad of an ADC. Honestly, if her ult didn't do like really low damage, she'd be pretty good, I think. I think a lot of her effectiveness is limited by her ult's low damage. The fact that it's an AP scaling definitely doesn't help either. Although it is a purely utility-based ultimate, much similar to Tristana's. One thing I think that would also greatly boost Ash's effectiveness is a passive that wasn't nearly completely useless, because Ash's passive sucks. Like, you basically can't do anything with it. If your lane is like really slow and kind of boring, you get a few beefy autos, but like that's the only thing it's good for. Outside of laning phase, you're never going to be able to use it because it doesn't charge up like when you're attacking. I mean, if it charged up when you're attacking, I guess that'd be kind of good. Like you were guaranteed to get one critical strike every like X seconds or something. But I get the feeling that might be a little too good. I don't know. I just want something that isn't what it is right now. I mean, it'd be pretty hard to come up with a passive that's worse than Ash's passive. I was gonna miss that one. I'm gonna miss that one too, so I'll try and get this one. Oh man, 
brush. I was gonna get that one. This lane's not going all that well for us, but at the same time, it's not going horrible. Okay, can you please not do that when you don't have any charges, dude? Don't hit my freaking creeps. Like, ugh. Whenever there's a freaking morgue in the lane, the kill pressure always goes up by like 50. I feel like I always feel so pressured against the morgue. Honestly, one of my least favorite champs to go against, especially with an AD. Like, there's so much power in her. Uh, if I could click on her and figure out how much AP she has. Yeah, only 20, and she does a lot of damage. She's got a lot of damage, a lot of CC, really great peel. And I can't land W. Freaking annoying. One thing I do want to say though is that even though lost streaks aren't fun, like. I think they're good for you. Well, they're obviously not good for your LP, but I think they're good for you as a person. Like... I got this! Yeah! Obviously, not good for your LP or your rank. I've already been demoted like an entire rank because of this freaking lost streak. But I think they're good for you as a person. They're definitely humbling, that's for sure. If I ever think I'm good by going on a massive winning streak, eh, I'll rapidly tilt for some odd reason and go on a huge losing streak. What the heck, more is just chilling in our jungle. So it's humbling as well. And plus it'll also like, obviously if you want to stop losing, you have to like, get better, improve, and fix whatever's wrong. So it really teaches you like, look for mistakes in yourself. Like, I mean if you're gonna lose five games in a row, there's only one common factor in all those five games is yourself, except for the one guy who was on my team twice. So, you really gotta look at what you're doing wrong. I'm doing wrong? I don't know. Main thing I think that's been happening to me. Well, I don't think this is like 100% of why I've been losing games, but it's definitely a cause is the past like few games I've been playing like really aggressively and I die a lot. Like my average deaths in these past few games has been really high. I have one game where I died like 13 times, it was only like a 30 minute game. Not even a 30 minute game, I died freaking 13 times. So yeah, stuff like that. So I'm trying to like curb my aggression, which is weird for me to say because I'm not an aggressive player at all. I'm a very passive player. But I like to make aggressive plays. And when they don't work, eh, that I just die. Yeah, so that's one thing I'm trying to stop doing. Stick with what I'm good at, farm for 10 years, and let, give them the good old late game. I mean, I have more CS than this Ash, so I'm more than happy to just sit here and farm. Because I'll out CS her. Unless this lane starts going really sideways. Oh, like right now. Dude, I hate freaking... <laughs> what is this Amumu doing? He's got like 3 HP. 
Man, I hate Panth. Like, I swear when you're playing Panth, the alt channel time is like a decade. And then when the enemy plays Panth, like that circle shows up and he's on you in a second. Oh, I hate that so much. What's Amumu doing? He's like one quarter HP. Can't contest that, dude. Oh, what in the world? You can't be serious. What is this? I saw the morgue binding come from like the upward side of my screen. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, Mumu gets wrecked. Oh, what? Okay, well, whatever. He stopped his back by himself, so I guess that's fine. Uh, that's drag too. Drag would be at like, like 15, 30, I guess. I guess that's roughly the drag timer. I don't know how long we were screwing around for. It's bad. I didn't track that very well. So, probably 15 to 15, 30 is drag. Somewhere in that range is when that thing will respawn. Or about. I hate this freaking Ash, dude. Oh. Okie dokes. What? Even though you are exhausted. I don't think this Ash understands what Jinx's ult actually does. This is like the most high damage spell in the game. I mean, it does at base 325 plus 25% of your missing health. Like this thing hits you and you're like one quarter HP or whatever minimal amount of HP she was. You're freaking toast. Yeah, get wrecked. I don't like how Ash's ult doesn't have a wind up time on it either. That's really annoying to lane against her because she can just, like, what she did. She just, like, cheese the ult at you, which is super annoying. It didn't really work out for their team. Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't get exhausted by Morg. I didn't notice an exhaust go down. But yeah, she can just, like, cheese the ult at you, which is freaking stupid. I really hate that. Oh, rip. Oh my god, why has he got full HP? Oh, overstay. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Hmm. Oh, I got completed IE. This Ash doesn't, so. Fine with that. I got kills. This Ash doesn't. Actually, she does have one. So she does have a kill. But her ult's back up because mine's up. Pretty sure hers is a longer cooldown than mine. Thresh! I hate you forever. Stop making me miss farm. Blech. Yeah, I know they're probably in the bush. Okay, I don't think they're in the bush now. They don't have a tower. Yeah, they're not even in lane. I backed off. Well, we took a tower, and uh, we might be able to hold that. No, that's dead. Rip. <laughs> yeah, blue buff stop. Um. Uh. <sighs> 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 I was on mid. LB. 
against Annie. Oh, okay, yeah, against Annie. Uh, Annie's like the most oppressive freaking mid. Does have the most kill pressure in the entire game, I think. She doesn't even need AP before she can just like click on you and one shot you. hits me with all I'm dead. The block totally should have chained. That would have been like free money right there. I guess I'll actually stay mid right now. There's a lot of people in this lane. Uh, oh, it drags up. I was like, what's he down there for? Oh, it drags up. Timer. Nice. Keeping timers, and I don't even bother to, like, look at them. Ah, <sighs> uh, we have no freaking fish here. I can't do anything. Boy. He just smited the scuttler. We, we can't do the dragon. He's got no smite. Are you freaking serious? He just smited the scuttler. How are we supposed to do the dragon when he doesn't even have a smite charge? What in the... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, control of the rift scuttler is important, but like... What does it do you? You don't have a smite. Now we totally lost control of the freaking pit. Ugh. This game is weird. They're gonna get it. I mean, they're all clustered. Whoa! That was huge! Oh. Ha! <laughs> freaking own! Oh my god, I screwed those up pretty bad. What in the world? What the fuck? Heart Seeker Strike? Is he maxing that? Oh, Pantheon is such a stupid champ. <laughs> She's gonna live. Um. What? That's why I didn't bother with the heal. I got him ignited anyway, it won't even make a difference. I don't get why the heart seeker did so much. He had to have maxed that. 500 on a level 10 pantheon with two items. Not even two items, that's like one item because those are half items. Was this a block so freaking salty for? I can't believe Annie managed to get her stun off during that fight. I should have ulted a lot earlier. I wasn't predicting a Mumu's ult would like chunk their entire team like it did. So it's like, alright, I'll wait for someone else to throw some CC or whatever at them, like Thresh to get a hook before I'll ult. But Mumu's ult like freaking chunks them and I really wish I had sat there channeling W. I wish I had just straight up ulted because I would have killed Annie, Annie wouldn't have been able to do anything. I wouldn't be two thirds dead when Pantheon came in and for whatever reason I misclicked my snares and they didn't quite land in the center of his ulti. So he didn't get snared when he came down. Then he just killed me with his max heart secret strike. And ignite. I could have healed, but it's like one of those things. It's like... Am I healed? Is it even gonna freaking matter? Maybe. Who knows? Grievous Wounds is pretty intense, man. Every time I, like, heal and think I'm gonna live from ignite, I just die. So it's like, eh, whatever. Why bother at this point? Alright. See, and he can't wave clear. That's like the major disadvantage. Especially during the mid game. And whoa! <sighs> Jesus, she died. Oh, I'm dead. Man, I wish I had my flash now. How did I freaking miss that, man? Are you serious? 
I don't actually know what to do right now. I just got my flashback up, I swear. Riven just got destroyed, man. I swear, Pant's alt channel is shorter when you're playing against him. Like, when I play Pantheon, I alt, and like... You could found a country in the time it takes that thing to channel. And then whenever other people play Pantheon, he comes in, you gotta flash fast, because he's gonna drop straight on top of you. Oh! Wrecked. Oh god. Let's just get the turret. Oh, hey, Morg. How did I miss that? Mumu got it so far. Alright, that was super weird. I could have ulted Annie, but I thought someone else was going to kill her. Didn't want to throw my ult at her corpse. And then LeBlanc died, and no one killed her. I was like, what the heck? And then I horrifyingly missed my W on Annie, and then she died, so... Now I have a blue buff, because Lee Sin did something really freaking weird. He like jumped in, it's like, herder, her, I'm gonna kill somebody. Then he remembered he was building flat tank and doesn't do any damage. Okay. Can I get phantom? No, nope. can't freaking get a phantom dancer yet. I'm gonna go kill this force. <sighs> Uh, still can't afford the stupid thing. Raptors are next on my hit list. Man, clear the whole freaking jungle and I still won't have the stupid thing. 2070, I need 200 more gold. Where am I gonna get 200 more gold from? Blech. What do, man? What freaking do? Alright, I'm... <laughs> See you later. I'm not gonna risk that Ash all just like flying in and then like get collapsed on by everyone else on their freaking team. They have a lot of follow-up from like everybody. So I'm just gonna try and stay pretty far back. Just chuck rockets at people and other such jinx things now I almost got my phantom dancer now that I'm kinda locked in here and I can't really recall so all the good this money does me uh, there's Panthen Morg and Annie and Lee, whoa they're all freaking there, oh drag's 40 drag up drag 30 Serious chunk from the block. We have no wards like placed. Okay, I guess these count as wards. Oh, he got his raptor buff procced. Man, that blows for him. Oof. We should be able to see that, yeah. You should be able to get this drag. Get out of the pit. Get out of the pit. Get it out of the freaking pit. Get it out of the pit. Bunch of idiots. Get it out of the freaking pit. So Lee Sin can't steal it. I got it. How does a burst mage get a triple kill? Whatever. It's a triple kill. Can I at least get a CS, bro Jinx? No, bro, you can't get a CS. Okay, well you got those, you happy? Um, 
Oh yeah, <laughs> they're all respawned. Oh. Da -da 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 I want more money, so I'm gonna go kill the raptors again, then come back and maybe the red will still be up. If it is, I'll take it. Ooh. Whoa. Rest in peace is my FPS. cleared out some like files so uh, that should be a lot smoother now because I have 90% uh, available space instead of 10% on my disc uh, yo they're all mid I'm gonna get this red buff and head down there got my life steal and then just go for last whisper because you really want like the the damage you get from last whisper is ridiculous especially if the enemy team is building like resistances like they should be I mean the only reason you get BT first is if their whole freaking team squishies other than that, in every other case, you just go vamp into Last Whisper. Or unless you're like really ahead and no one's had enough time to stack up armor yet. But you just get the little bit of sustain from the Scepter. And then you get like the ability to really start chunking people down with the Whisper. And then that's when you really start being scary is when you get Last Whisper. Yeah, Pants doesn't have any armor. It's Lee Sin that has armor. They don't really have that much armor. But they're gonna build it, like, I'm 1500 gold away from that. Pantheon does get tanky, like, the champion will build tanky, so. where When I get 1500 gold, how much gold is he gonna get? Probably about the same amount, and at that point he's got enough for pretty much any base component item in the game. And he does have enough for any non-completed item in the game, so. Yeah, he could pick up armor or something, which I don't understand why he doesn't have any armor. Why he went Hex against a Riven is just confusing me. There's no way they're barren. Yeah. Not with a team that squishy. They're pretty squishy, like I said, but... I mean... Morg is gonna get his Zanyas as well, so... It's all good. <laughs> I want to stay far, far away in this. Man, my freaking red's going to run out before I get a chance to do anything with it. That always sucks. To pick up a buff that you don't get to, like, utilize. Okay, their red's not up. Their team's not here. Where's their ash? Their ash is, like, in the bottom lane. What's their ash freaking doing? Yeah, we try to turret dive Annie with those items, rest in garbage. <laughs> like, we're just gonna get freaking, like, rolled right over. Jesus, this LB. Well, pushing to the turret doesn't do us any good if we don't have creeps to take it when we get there. Do you think I'm crazy? You should be crazy. I'll back off. It's hard for us to siege. We have no poke. We don't really have that good of engage either. This comp really blows. This comp's one of those comps that's like... When you're just picking in champ select, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Then when you load into game, it's like, oh, man. This comp is bad. I mean, this comp isn't horrible. They basically can't fight us unless they catch me and LeBlanc with an Annie ult. Or, like, an Ash ult or Panth ult or whatever. They have to catch both me and LeBlanc in order to fight us. And even then, like... Our fight is massive. We have Amumu, we have Riven, who are two of the best team fighters in the game. 
I mean, I'm trying to position so that I can't get caught, so I can be alive and I can rip people apart because Jinx is an awesome team fighter. LeBlanc's not the best team fighter, but the purpose of her in a team fight, she pretty much turns into a 5v4. She's going to one shot anybody. It's the second time he's tried. <laughs> and he had the blows flash. I mean, he could have ward hopped, but, you know, whatever. He doesn't have any wards on Lee Sin. Blanc, what in the world are you? Oh my god. Ugh, gotta get out of that freaking thing. Oh god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't even know what to make of that. One step forward, two step back. All right, now here's the part where our comp really starts sucking because we can't defend our towers. I'm our only wave clear. I can't get close to that. Whoa. Yeah, Moo Moo and Thresh tried to flank, they just got caught and annihilated. Oh, they could be burning. No, they're not. Maybe they're all sitting in this bush. It's three drags to one, so we have fifth dragon in like 10 or 11 minutes. Get last whisper. Nothing better to do right now. Right. I don't even. I'm probably gonna get Quicksilver. <laughs> Our only engage is a Mumu or a Thresh Hook that isn't on Panther Lee. As long as we can get fights, we're pretty much gonna win them. I don't even know what happened in the last, like, massacre. <laughs> Thresh and Amumu both tried to flank and they got caught. Click, there we go, Jesus. Bunch of freaking misclicking. Yeah, I'd hope you have TP. Oh, Riven wasn't even there in that fight, I just realized. Yeah, Riven wasn't there either. Um, don't need to be walking into any death traps here. Let's just take the safe way. It's a generally a good idea to take the safe way, even if you are ahead, because you never know. You, you're really ahead, you're crushing, you're feeling great, and you take a shortcut through the enemy jungle, and there's five people in the bush. Oh, okay, Annie wasn't there in that fight. Riven didn't even reactivate her all. I didn't use mine. There's no freaking point. Like... I missed that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. She flashed into it. That's funny. She literally flashed into it. See ya. And his positioning in these fights is actually really good. She stays where she can, like, nuke us. 
if we step too far to like the side but she stays pretty out of range of all of our stuff if she wasn't so close to that freaking tower I would have killed her at the end of that fight but I was scared of getting stuck under her turret like she's got a lot of burst and I only have 42 magic resistance he's gonna she is gonna rip right through me so gotta be conscious of that uh, I think I'll get some utility items alacrity make me a little safer a little more mobile in fights as well oh man he's caught oh he's dead that's one dead mummy I swear if he ults I'll be so salty Very well, Ash ulted. That is something. It's not much, but it's something. I don't think they'll Baron without her, though. I mean, they're fighting a 4v4, and they're not even, like, that ahead. Oh, we're Baroning? Uh, this is not a good call. Because their jungler's up and ours isn't. Yeah, he's already coming. I mean, maybe we can mow this down in time. LB will zone, but... God, we freaking got it. What the heck? Where were- what were they doing? They were just screwing around on like the other side of the freaking map. Like, Dragon wasn't even spawned. It's spawned now, but... It wasn't spawned then. <laughs> what in the world were they doing? It's like, let's sit in the dragon pit for 40 seconds and just wait for it to spawn while Baron's up. Oh, they went for the... Wait, what? Okay, I guess that works. I figured they were just gonna give the dragon up since we didn't really have the resources for a 5v5. Okay, well, I'm terrible. Hmm. Nah, because of me. I wasn't even there. I didn't think they were going to go for that. I thought they were just going to give that up. Because we, there's no way we, we had a position to contest that. We were in no position to contest that. It shouldn't have gone for it like that. That was, that was so weird. That was my fault, really, for not following them. I should have just stuck with them, but... I wasn't expecting them to do what they did. What the heck, man? How I freaking do that? We would have won that fight if I was there. I need to play better, man. This is probably why I'm losing so many games. I'm expecting my team to do all this stuff, and they don't do it. And then I just end up in super awkward positions, and where I'm totally useless. So maybe that's why I'm losing. Because I'm never, like, where the team needs me to be. Alright, let's kill this tower. See ya, nerds. Is there blue up? Oh, their blue is up. That's mine. She's dead. Is there red up? This will be great. Aww. <laughs> I don't want to be in here. <laughs> I'm spooked. I have 3,000 gold. That's a lot of gold. I'm rich. Just seeing if they checked it yet. Let's just tank this up. Did we get anything off of our Baron? Just realized that we didn't. Uh. Hmm. 
logic would dictate we run away to deal with this huge creep wave in the top. Before that, starts knocking on that turret and doing to that turret what our creeps are doing to their turret. I need... Cash money, baby! I'm tempted to get Quicksilver, but at the same time I don't know if I have the mechanical ability to use it properly. Hmm. My brain's saying Quicksilver, my heart's saying Banshees. Alright, let's see what's going on. Everyone's back in. <laughs> I guess I get the Quicksilver. If I can't freaking utilize this thing, I'm getting rid of it. I'll pick up a Banshees or GA, depending on what I need. Most likely Banshees. Uh, if the game goes really long, GA, but most likely Banshees. Uh, the problem with Quicksilver Sash is I like accidentally use it too early or something. I'm like, oh, that's going to hit me. And I try to cleanse the thing off as quickly as possible. I just need to be more patient with the thing. And I should be able to get stuff off of me. The only problem is if they like layer CC, then this thing becomes useless. Because, like... Removes all debuffs, and <laughs> it's like, yeah, you remove the Morg Snare, then you get hit by the Pants Stun, so what good does that do you? Because you're still CC'd. Uh, whoa! Let's kill this. Baron uh, drags 50, that's our fourth. If we get it. Uh, Baron, one minute. Baron's in one minute. Dragon's in 40 seconds. We need to go to Dragon then Baron. Yeah, obviously this is gonna spawn first. <laughs> Not gonna sit at Baron and, do, and pull what their team just freaking did. You can get out. Alright, there we go. Man, if a fight had happened there, I would have been so far removed. I need to have that stop happening. Kidding me that stacked up again? So annoying. We don't have a ping. We just need to get this thing out of the pit. Oh man. This is intense, yo. Oh but Jesus. Where you going? I didn't really need a flash to kill Lee. That's pretty poor. I didn't see the thresh lantern go out though. I don't have QSS up. Oh, Okay, I swear those turrets have a longer range when you're trying to get out of the range than when you get into it for the first time. We can take the second turret, we can take the second turret. This guy needs to run away. Wait, what? Yo, run away! There's stuff spawned, we can't, like, risk dying. If we die, they're gonna get Baron and the Dragon. The Dragon's not that significant, it's only gonna be their third, but if they get the Baron, that's, like, freaking huge for them. I'm gonna pick this dragon up. That belongs to me. This doll, though. She killed all that. 
Oh, red buffs up too. Money. Alright. I actually use Quicksilver Sash to some effectiveness there, so I'll keep it. Merc Sim, what's the status on my red pop? Running low. Refresh that. Red buff, Baron. Uh we should go top after Baron. We got this giant creep wave here that they're gonna have to do something about. Whoa, that was a lot of damage out of my crits. 465 AD. Mercs him rocks, man. Actually, if we can keep them screwing around in this part of the jungle, they're gonna lose. They have open nexus. Yo, they got open nexus. We can do this. They have open nexus. Hey, kill this. They got open nexus. Like, the longer they screw around in here, the better it is for us. Because the closer those creeps get to the nexus, the more pressure that puts on them. See, so they just spent the past forever screwing around. They don't even get this thing. We get the Baron. What is this guy doing? It's like the 50 millionth steal attempt this guy's botched. Ooh, more move speed. Oh, hey, Thresh. Oh. Uh, Oh, creeps. There we go. Alright. If you watched my video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'll see you all next time.